This is the UC Davis Health Informatics Minute. I'm Dr. Peter Yellowlees. The way that we deliver education programs matters. I believe that we should increasingly deliver education programs using a hybrid approach, both in person and online. We know that students only remember about 10% of the content of the average lecture one week later. Yet, we still use in-person lectures as our core educational delivery approach in most higher education institutions around the country. Online education is becoming more accepted by both students and teachers, but is commonly perceived as being second class in terms of its quality and effectiveness. In contrast, the millennial generation is completely at home with online learning, often accessed from mobile devices and sees Wikipedia, Facebook and YouTube as core educational delivery services. We know that adults learn best if resources are provided just in time, when and where they are needed, are problem or case-based, interactive, visual and involve students doing their own research, preferably in groups. We also know that when implementing software to support a business process, such as an education class, that the key informatics principles are complementarity and workflow redesign. We have to recognize that humans and computers have different strengths. Humans are creative, analytic, and interact well, while computers are excellent at remembering, organizing, searching, and presenting data. Equally, we know that a poorly organized in-person course will not become magically better by being presented online unless it is re-engineered first. There are undoubtedly advantages of teaching in person. Lessons can be more interactive and spontaneous and may incorporate immediate feedback and debate. Small group seminars, individual mentoring and the wider campus experience are greatly valued by students. There are also educational advantages of the online format. Content presentation is often better, especially with pre-recorded or written resources, and automated assessments and quizzes can incorporate immediate results and feedback, allowing a student-driven iterative learning process. Online platforms also have greater accessibility, especially from mobile devices, can be customized and use multiple environments such as chat rooms, 3D environments, video conferencing and messaging. In one of my courses I run seminars in Second Life. Video clips of these classes with students represented as avatars can be seen on YouTube searching via the course number MHI214. I believe we need to specifically design our courses to be hybrid. This minute is an example. It has been carefully and precisely written and recorded in a video editorial style. It is deliberately short and punchy with a single educational message. It will be placed on our website and on sites such as YouTube and Facebook. It will stand alone as a widely available educational resource, but is being presented as a discussion piece at this Health Informatics Conference where it is intended to stimulate an interactive debate among the in-person audience. Let us take advantage of both approaches to education. In future, I believe hybrid education courses will be the default approach used by those who wish to promote high quality teaching and effective learning. That's my opinion and this is the UC Davis Health Informatics Minute. I'm Dr. Peter Yellowlees.